Ahla wa sahlan and welcome to Kalam Television. My name is Zaina Baluch. And I'm Jim Salim. And today's program, we're going to be talking about Arabic foods, in particular the sweet, which is one of my favourites. So I'm very excited. Mine too. Uh, my favourite sweet is Roz Belaban, which Egyptian means rice pudding. What's your favourite sweet? Well, rice pudding used to be my favourite sweet when I was younger, but I guess now I can't choose. It depends on my mood. Well, you can't even say one? Um, I really like the halal tajaban, which is a cheese sweet um, with the cream and the syrup on top. I think mm. that's one of my favourites. Nice. I might have to try that one. Okay, so coming up in today's show, we are going to be looking at Arabic sweets, in particular desserts, with a guest from Belhas Pastry. We're also going to be having our Vox Pops Arabic music segment and we are also going to be having an Arabic performance. Arabic sweets come in all shapes and sizes and made from a range of ingredients. Today we have Mr. Hussam and Tariq Afyuni to talk to us a bit about Arabic sweets. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm good. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming today. So you brought all of these Arabic sweets with you. Can you tell us uh, which ones are most popular in the Arab world? Um, I cannot uh, tell you this uh, one is popular and the other not. Okay, okay it, it sure. varies from a person to another. Okay. Of course, everyone has their favourites. Yeah. I'm sure we're all very excited. I'm, yeah. I know I'm excited to have the tray in front of me. Oh, just control yourself because <laughs> I want to taste some of them too. You've been making Arabic sweets for a very long time now, haven't you? Um, I've been uh, working with my brother. He's, he's my teacher um, for maybe 15 years. Wow. He's been for probably 30 or 35 years. Wow. So, so you started in Lebanon? Yes, I started with 13 years old. Wow. And so you're the big boss, so why did you think of bringing this to Australia? Because uh, I got a chance to come to Australia and my job, actually. I start with... Why did you call it Balhaz? What does that mean? If you were to go to any shop, okay, the, the, the name of the shop explains what's in the shop. Yeah. So Balha is, uh, is, uh, is the date or the fruit of the palm. Okay, when of, it's fresh. Of the palm tree. So it's food or it's a, a fruit of a tree. So, and we use date in our shop. Yeah. Mm. Okay, to make sweets. We and in it. the old days, they use, most of the, of the time in the houses, they use only dates. To yeah. make the, 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 yeah, the, the bread with the cakes, they Very make the sweets sweet. with the dates. Yeah. So that's why we've chosen that name. It's uh, light for our shop. Can you tell us? Which is your favourite? I mean, you cooking all of these sweets all day. There must be one that you like <laughs> most. Um, uh, for me, uh, I can every day try one. Okay. Yeah. I eat every a... day. I eat different time because they're all nice. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Uh, there must be one that uh, you okay, like. Okay. Okay. If most. if I was um, to choose, I will choose this one here for, my, What's that for one myself. Called? Um, this is a. a uh, a puff pastry that we make handmade. Wow, that, that looks okay. like a mouthful though. Okay, with the, clotted, <laughs> with the clotted cream in it, wow. decorated with a little bit of crushed pistachio. Yeah. And the same pastry we make with the walnuts inside. Oh wow. And um, the walnuts has orange blossom water, where you taste it and you can really enjoy um, eating it. It's got orange blossom water, something healthy. Okay? Oh yeah. Wow. And if you were to, to, to talk about how, how fat it is when you you know talk about the health and thing. it's not um, uh, uh, it's healthy okay we use uh, ingredient that um, really uh, I think it tastes know. too good to be healthy <laughs> so you're saying it's nutritious or it's good for you I well, think it's, it's, what he's trying to say is not as bad for you as other we, desserts. we don't put too much sugar in it yeah okay yeah. we don't put too much, too much butter in it okay uh, but it tastes great. great. Of course. <laughs> so, yeah. how long would something like this one take to make? Uh, because we have a schedules every week, like every day we, we make from this. So, um, between um, this one and other stuff, okay. If I were to make it by itself, it takes uh, two hours. Two hours. Two hours. I make maybe two hundred from it. Wow. wow. Okay. So over okay. the years, you've got uh, more demand for it. Like of you actually course. have to yes. make more. Yes. And what kind of customers? We have, um, when we started, we were relying on the Lebanese uh, customers and uh, some of the Arab world customers. Yeah. But yeah. then we realized that um, really the Australian and other than Australians, like uh, Greek, Italian, 
Indian, Bangladesh, Somalian, um, they live with us and they really like these sweets. And yeah, uh, noticed. we noticed that um, th we have a big demand from them too. Asia too. So you can, you can talk about now uh, uh, an ethnic, uh, you know, uh, demand yeah. in, into our shop. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because now every time I go in there, I see a lot of um, a lot of the people there are actually non-Arabs. Yes. And it's, I get a bit surprised because they're all like, they know what the sweets are called and they're all ordering. It's cute, you know, you find yeah, it nice. Yeah, it's good. I guess it must be spreading. Okay. I think I'm not going to try making them anytime soon, but I will try eating them. Okay. Yeah. But thank the you so part. much for no coming in pleasure. today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for bringing a whole tray for us. We're no going to eat all of these now. Thank yeah. you very we much. Are. No Why caramel slice? because I make a really killer caramel sauce. We're here behind the scenes at Balhas Pastry in their very own kitchen and we're going to watch sweets being made. So what kind of sweets is he making? The one he's making, uh, uh, it can be done into two types of sweets. The uh, bird's nest and the fingers. Okay. So that's uh, batlawa, for those of you who don't know. Type of batlawa, fingers and the bird's nest. Sorry. Okay. It's type of batlawa. Okay. Um, the fingers and the bird's nest. By him rolling it this way, putting the, the cashew like he's doing now, and rolling it with the stainless steel thin stick, and then he squeezes it to make that uh, you know zigzag oh, yeah. look. Okay. And then we, when he puts it on the tray over there. He either can cut it into big pieces where after he can make it around for the business or he can make it small pieces, okay, to make it fingers. Then what you do is once he, he cuts it in the tray, we put a little bit of butter on top, the one, the heated one, so it's like oily butter. Just about maybe a tray will make five kilos, we'll put about one kilo or half a kilo of butter. That's not too much for a, a five kilo, okay, and we put very, very good down butter. The, the original healthy good one. We can show you a few of them, like this is the diamond baklava. We put the syrup on top, so it's re ready to cut and eat. And this is the fingers I just mentioned before how to make it. It's already uh, already cut into small pieces. So this is about uh, two or three trays of the fingers, and this is the bird's nest. Um, you can even um, see the bird's nest is the, if you were to open the finger, uh, the bird's nest, it become a big finger. So we, we make it round to be a bird's nest and then again we put a little bit of, of cashew on top in the middle. Uh, we put the butter as we uh, previously said about this and then we cook it in uh, temperature and the time I told you and then we put the syrup. Of course it depends uh, if you like too much syrup you can put as much as you like. You, you like a little bit you can put a little bit. But for us, we have uh, a specific, you know, like a uh, quantity, okay, of syrup, a uh, specific quantity of um, pastry, cashew, okay. So, so they've got a secret recipe over here at Balhas, which is why it tastes so good. Yes, <laughs> and uh, it's not a secret. It's about you can um, you can uh, see it, you can taste it. It's got uh, a rose water, yeah. rose water inside the, the syrup. When we put the syrup on top of the sweets, yeah. when it's being cooked, okay. yes the uh, sugar syrup we put some rice water with it okay so and we have the bottom one is the, uh, the half moon with the cashew and we have the half moon with the pistachio and uh, right in the front of the counter we go through the week we make every day like uh, different kinds and this what's good about this even if you make them you can keep them out of the fridge in the cool weather like that for a week two weeks uh, no problem you can um, taste them after a week, they stay crunchy as the same first day, yeah. okay? So we're looking at a different sweet now, so what's this one called? This one called the uh, Barma, we will have the shredded pastry made upstairs on a special machine, very thin like a hair pastry, it's called Kataifi in Greek, or it's called shredded pastry in English. Um, it's made from flour and corn flour and um, other recipes in it. So we is this a type of balawa? Yes, it's, uh, it's uh, called Barma where we put it on top of the mixture where, where it can make a nice look into the, to the mixture okay, with the pistachio in it. We cut it into that thin, um, we don't cut it like into bigger uh, pieces. Let's um, cut one for you to be sold like that with the mixture. And any kilo of the mixture is about 35 pieces. Wow. Yeah. 
So, Hossam, thank you so much for letting us inside Balha's Pastry today. We've, uh, we've learned a lot from the experience and we've also learned how to make our very own business. So we're going to give that a try when we get home. But for now, we're going to get out the back and munch on some Lebanese sweets. Can't wait. And now for today's Vox Pops, where we put people on the spot to find out what their opinions are. Hi, my name's Jim Salim and I'm here for Kalam TV at RMIT University. Today I'm going to hunt down some random strangers and ask them what is their favourite sweet in the whole world. Let's go! Chocolate, definitely. And why chocolate? Because it's rich and it always makes me feel good. <laughs> what type of chocolate? Do you like dark chocolate, white chocolate? Dark chocolate. And why do you like dark chocolate? Because it's usually 90% cocoa, so it's more chocolate than all the other ones. Do you like it by itself or in a hot drink or on cakes? I could have it uh, anywhere, but my favourite is dark chocolate ice cream. Uh, rice pudding. Rice pudding. That's mm. interesting. So why? what makes you like rice pudding? Just a very old favourite. One of those nice comfort foods from childhood. Yeah, I like rice pudding as well. What um, flavours do you like? Because there's heaps uh. of nowadays. Well, mostly plain, just plain rice pudding, but I do like it made with coconut milk these days. So when you say rice pudding, is that the one that's got a bit of nutmeg on the top? Yes, yes. Do you make it yourself or you just like eating it out? No, make it myself. Probably chocolate ice cream, yeah, that's it. Do you like your ice cream on a cone or do you prefer eating it in a bowl? In a bowl. Yeah, um, and um, do you like gelati or what, what kind of ice cream? Just chocolate ice cream with chocolate chips, probably. Yeah. Yeah, and can you only eat it at summertime or anytime? Anytime, I'll eat it anytime. Well, that's easy for me, mate, because pavlova is a big favourite. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, and why? What makes you say pavlova? Uh, I just like it. I like eggs in general, and pavlova is mainly egg-based, and uh, you know, that's it. We were in New Zealand a while ago, and. Uh, Pavlova is very popular over there. Nearly everywhere we stopped, I'd have some <laughs> if it was available. And nine times out of ten, it was. So, yeah, I love it. Uh, I'd have to say a tiramisu. And can you explain what tiramisu is? Yeah, it's an Italian dessert. It's uh, uh, there's one of the main ingredients is uh, it's a cheese. It's called uh, uh, hmm, I forget the name. It begins with a C. Uh, uh, I forget anyway. It's was... very creamy, very cheesy has some kind of chocolate, uh, chocolate sprinkles on the top. It sounds uh, Japanese, but it's Italian tiramisu. It's Italian, yeah, it's Italian. And what occasion would you eat it? Is it something you'd eat regularly or on a special uh, occasion? Because it's so rich and thick and heavy, I'd probably eat it just on the occasion, you know, for a very special meal, maybe with some Italian food and some red wine and some tiramisu to end. Probably caramel slice. And why caramel slice? Because I make a really killer caramel slice. Oh, you make it yourself. Yeah. How long does it take to make? Oh, it's pretty quick. It only takes about half an hour and uh, the enjoyment lasts for a really long time. Yeah, I really like uh, caramel slices. So when you make it, like, do you make a big one and then you cut it into small bits like you get at the shops? Yeah, definitely. It looks pretty professional, I must say. Do you have any secret ingredient that you put in your caramel slice that makes it special? Oh, a bit of coconut in the base. Uh, my favourite would be Turkish delight. Yeah. And why is that? Uh, I don't know, it's nice and real rich in flavour. That's why I like it. And when will you usually eat eat it? Like, is uh, it? it probably every time, every once a week, probably. Yeah, it's about. So Turkish delight is made out of squares. Like, how many would you be able to finish off in a, in one setting? Um, I could eat like heaps, ten, twenty, whatever. Chocolate cake. And why would you say chocolate cake? Because they're awesome. Yeah, and are you more into eating them, or have you ever tried making them? Uh, I'm more into eating them. Yeah, I, I, I always buy them from the shops. And w what type of occasions would you buy a chocolate cake? Is it something you'd buy regularly or special times or what? Uh, maybe for my for birthdays or special occasions like parties. Yeah. Do you like um, mud cake or is it just chocolate cake? Uh, anything with chocolate, that that good. So I'm just gonna. Because chocolate, it, you know, it's such a great subject. Is there any, um, like, do you like white chocolate, dark chocolate? Which one would you choose? Uh, any colour. <laughs> any colour, because I don't really like white chocolate, but yeah. Yeah. 
Great. Okay. Well, there you go. Chocolate cake. I think that's a um, chocolate's been really popular today. Thanks very much. Yeah. No worries. Thanks. Cheers. Cheer to eat and enjoy it while it lasts. Help us take it away. Hi, my name is Faryal Duduj and welcome back to Arabica Hot Seat. Today it's about who can guess which Arabic food they are eating while blindfolded. Who is going to win, red or blue? You're going to have to stay tuned to see who wins. And now let's meet the contestants. Team Blue, Gads, how are you? Very good. Being excited for today's segment? Yes, especially because I'm winning. Sorry. <laughs> oh. And you know today is about food tasting. Are you, do you have any Very tactics excited. for tasting food? I'm good at my taste buds. Oh, good got taste buds, that's good to hear. <laughs> and Team Red, Jasmine, what are you going to do for today? Well, I'm pretty confident because I'm always eating these Arab food at home in a restaurant, so I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to win this one. Oh. Wish you all the <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so t we will be blindfolding you and then you will have to guess what the food is in Arabic. If you don't guess it in Arabic, then you guys will not get any points. So you must say it, it's Arabic name. And now, please, the helpers come out. <laughs> okay, don't be scared, guys. You're in a room safe with us. We're just gonna get you Hello, to taste the food. I can't even see you. With your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. So let's start the game. Let's bring out dish number one. Help us, if you please. Okay, find it, find it, find it. And eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> Matthew. Chew, get all your taste buds in there. And that is correct. 10 points for Team Bread. Well done, Jasmine. What I know is the correct answer, and that's 10 points for you. Now, please help us dish number two. Open wide. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> Taste that. What do you guys think it is? Riz of Halib. Are you sure? Do you want to lock that in, Gaz? Yes, I can taste the rice it's, in it. Yeah, and really that's good. 10 points for the blue team. That is correct. Now help us bring out dish number three. Okay, guys, use your hands. Use your hands. Get in there. What is it? A bit mm. lower, isn't it? Yeah. Jasmine, are you sure about yes, that? Yes, yes, I'm really sure. Well, you get 10 points for that. But Lawa, that is the correct answer. And now bring out dish number four. You guys will have to use your hands for this one. Is it this? Am I holding it? Yep, correct. Choo, choo, choo. Falafel. Falafel. And that's 10 points for the blue tea. Yes, falafel is the correct answer. <laughs> choo choo, eat and enjoy it while it lasts. Help us take it away. And now for the fifth and final dish. Bring it out, helpers. You guys will once again have to use your hands. Dig in. <laughs> what is this? Am I holding this? Yep. I know it. <laughs> oh. Guess it, guess it. who's going to win? Take the 10 points. Kabiyas. Well, is it? Pickle? Yeah. And that is correct. 10 points for Gab. Now you guys can take off your blindfolds. Let us see your eyes again. Do you feel very full? Love. That was really good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. It you guys did really well. My oh. favourite was... This is a paleo. Really? Oh no, I like the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I forgot as well. The, what, what was the first Everybody one? Yep, what I know. Good job, guys. Yay! Nah, you and thank you to our helpers and thank you to our contestants. After today's round, we have Gads as the winner on 30 points and we have Jasmine on 20 points. But this will all be added up towards the end and then we'll see who will take home the gold trophy. So stay tuned for next episode. Take care, guys.
That's it for today's show. Hope you enjoyed it. Ma Salama. If you have any questions or comments on the show, please contact us at kalamtv at vas.org.au. Bye for now. This is uh, called Namura. It's got uh, semolina and coconut and almond on top. This is the same with the full pistachio on top. Okay. This is the same with the uh, almond on top. Okay. This is uh, semolina top and bottom with the walnuts in it. That's the same with the date.